Let's talk about this last section of P2. Did you start telling the beautiful? Okay, the beautiful. Okay. Last section of P2. We are going to discuss rational exponents. I'll erase this in a second. Rational exponents, okay? We are going to have to transfer exponents back and forth between radicals and fractional exponents because depending on how we need to solve it, depending on what's easier. If I have a to the one over a number, like a to the one half, a to the one fourth, a to the one twelfth, whatever, okay? I can switch that to say whatever that nth root is of a. So if this is 12, this would say the 12th root of a. If this was seven, one over seven, it would say the seventh root of a. Remember when you have even roots that you're taking, you have two answers. When you have odd roots, you have one answer, okay? The other part is when the fraction isn't one over something. When it's two numbers over something. So a to the m over n means that I'm taking the nth root of a to that power. Whatever is the denominator is always the root we're taking. Okay, whatever is the numerator is the number that's inside here. Technically, there's a one here. We just don't show it. So if this said a to the three-fourths, okay, a to the three-fourths, I would translate that and say the fourth root of a cubed. Okay. So we're going to work on flipping them back and forth between each other. We're going to work on simplifying them, and that's what we're doing today. And then that's the end of this. What, Maddie? Why does the end go inside of the end? I don't know. Um, because you're taking, like when you take the square root of something, it's the same as saying a to the half power, yeah? Wait, say If I'm taking the square root of something, okay? Like let's say the square root of four. What's the square root of four? Two, right? It's the same as saying four to the one half. What's four to the one half? Two. Okay? So that's why my n is my root and my m is my power on the inside. Because if I did it to the one half, my one would be on the inside. That's a What? Yes. Wait, but then would it be a square? I don't know. No. I would I could rewrite this is written. Remember, when we take square roots, you don't ever write the two here. Oh, okay. Never. Okay. Okay. So let's look at changing some of these from radical form to exponential or exponential to radical. How do I change the square root of 3 to exponential form? Is that the square root? Is that the square root? No. Uh, you're not going to have letters in this. There's no letters in this right here. How do I change the square root of 3 to something with a power, an exponential power? One. Three. three to the half? Three to the what? One half. One half. No. What? Because when because you were taking the square root, when you were taking the square root, it's your n. N is my square root. Here they don't show the two. When square roots are the tricky ones because they don't show the two, you have to think. Okay? How do I change the square root of 3xy to the fifth into exponential form? Five over, two. five over what? Two. Five over two. Because remember, square root, there's a two. two. So you would change it to three xy to the five seconds. Okay, to the five seconds. So right now we're just changing. We're not solving. We're not reducing. We're just changing back and forth. Okay. How do you change parentheses x squared plus y squared to the three seconds into radical form? So I want to change it in. So the 2 goes outside. Yep, which means I have what type of root that I'm taking? Square. square. So the square root. That. So I don't show it. Okay. And then x squared plus y squared to the third. Beautiful. Okay. Here's a tricky one. I have 2 y to the 3 fourth, z to the 1 fourth. Okay, so question for you here. Do all of these
these things have the same powers? No. No. Kyla, yeah, move out of the way of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. So we're going to take each piece individually. Okay? Individually. What power is two? Two right now. What power is the number two? Two right now. One. <laughs> one. There's nothing there, right? So I just leave two like that. Now, do these have the same bases? Yes. Yes. So what root am I taking from both of those? A fourth root. A fourth root. Yes. A fourth root of yep. And just Z, because I don't show the first. So because they have the same base, I can take them under the same um, radical. How do I do this last one? This last one says A to the negative three seconds. A to the negative three seconds. What? Mm, I can't. I can't do that first. I do what? Somebody said it. Put it over one, or put it under one. Put it under one because I can't have a negative yet. Now what do I do from there, Tyler? Now you do a a the square root of a. Yeah, the square root of a cubed. Okay. Can we switch back and forth on our homework tonight? No. Can you make up one more? Like, kind of like deep. Yeah, can I do another one? Yeah, Okay, let's do this. Try a negative 125 to the negative 2 thirds. How would I do that? You would put it, over. Put it put under one. one. Yeah, put it under one so that I have one over negative one twenty five to the two thirds. And then do what? Two. Uh-uh, not the square. The cube root. Ah, cube root. So I have one over the cube root of negative one twenty five to the two thirds. The cube root of negative one twenty five squared. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. A little bit better with uh, numbers Wait, instead of letters. Wait, you put it over one? Wouldn't it be positive? You can't put it over one. I mean, under one. Yeah, it makes the it makes the exponent positive. Your exponent always has to be positive before you do anything. Not the number. Because I can take the cube root of a negative number, right? What's the cube root of negative one twenty five? Five, and then five squared is. So if I was solving, I would get one over twenty five as my answer. Okay. Um, now we're going to simplify, which means we're going to get an answer. And I have four of those examples. We can do more if you need, okay? Um, and this is what our whole stuff is over. So, negative 32 to the negative 4 fifths. What do I need to do to simplify this? Put it under 1. Okay, so we're going to put under 1 first. So I get 1 and I get negative 32 to the 4 fifths. Now what do I do? Square root. The fifth root, fifth root. Fifth root. Well, yeah, of negative 32. The fifth root of negative 32 to the fourth. Four. What's the fifth root of 32? Two. Negative two. two. Negative two. And what's negative two to the fourth? Sixteen. So I get one over negative two to the fourth, which gives me one over. Did you say sixteen? Yeah. <laughs> And that is how I simplify. Yeah. So show me your work. Don't just plug this into a calculator. I need to see your steps. How do I simplify negative 5x to the 5 thirds, 3x to the negative 3 fourths? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean multiply them together? <laughs> What do you mean multiply them together? Okay, we can multiply these numbers together first. Well, start with the whole numbers. What's negative 5 times 3? Negative 15. Negative 15. Good. What happens when I have the same base, x and x, and I have a power times a power? What do you do? Multiply. You add the exponents. You add the exponents. So I have x to the 5 thirds plus negative 3 fourths. 
Can I add those right now like they are? Oh, no. no. You have to have common Twelve. denominators. Twelve. 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 Okay, so I would multiply this by four, four over four, right? Yeah. And what would I multiply this one by? Three. Three over three. So then I have negative 15x and I have 20 twelfths plus negative nine twelfths because it was three, so remember. What's 20 minus 9? 11. 11. So negative 15x to the 11 twelfths. Am I done? No. Oh. What Put it over it under well, 1. What, what do the directions say? That's, yeah. That's as far as I can go. Simplify. Okay. I can't do anything because there's an x in here. I can't give you a number answer. Okay. That's as far as I can take it. It's simplified. Perfect. Okay. How do I simplify the cube root of the square root of 125? You got, well, there's a 2 there. Yes, no there's a 2, two here. Good. So you got a mm. What happens when you have? You need to multiply. You do what? Multiply. You multiply? Yeah. Why do you say multiply? No, you add them. It goes n to the n. It goes n to the n. So there's a 3 and a 2. So it goes 3 to radical a. Okay, maybe. Kind of. If I have a radical and a radical inside of it, okay? If I have a, let's say I have 6 squared cubed, what do I do there? Distribute the two. Add the multiple. You multiply, right? I multiply these exponents because a power to a power u. This is the op this is basically a power to a power, right? It's just a fraction form of it. A power to a power. So you want to divide. So sixth root of one twenty-five, right? The sixth root of one twenty-five. So I multiply those two together. Now here's the deal. Does one twenty-five have a sixth root? What's 125 divided by 5? 5, 25. 25, and 25 is? 5. So it doesn't have a 6 root, it has what root? A cube. So when I go to simplify this, I have to say the 6 root of 5 cubed. Okay. Now, I can reverse this because I can keep going because I can change the 6 root of 5 cubed into a fractional exponent. What is the 6 root of 5 cubed in a fractional exponent? Five to the radical three six in or m n yes m n what does three six reduce down to one half great now flip it into what now Just the what like okay. So listen, some of them are going to take multiple steps and they're going to be a little bit difficult. It wants it in its simplest form. The simplest form is the square root of 5. But in order to get there, I have to take the radicals, change them into fractions, and then change it back into radicals. Okay? Do you see the tricky part about that? You won't have a ton like that, but I'm just trying to help you see some harder ones. Okay? Now, here we go. Parentheses 2x minus 1 to the 4 thirds, parentheses 2x minus 1 to the negative 1 third. Can I do what? Um, not subtract. Well, add to yeah, add them, add them. Because this base and this base are the same. same. So I can say 2x minus 1 to the 4 thirds, right? Plus negative 1 third. What's 4 thirds and negative 1 third? 3 and 1. 3 thirds, which is 1. So you end up getting 2x plus 1. Because I don't need to show that power, do I? Why did you change that one? Oh, it's not. It's minus, but I said plus for some reason. Thanks. Because I don't need to show that power of 1. Okay, so listen. We probably will do more of this tomorrow. Thank you. Like all of all three portions that we've talked about combined. Thank you.
Okay, so tonight it's focused just on this stuff, and then tomorrow I'm going to give you stuff over all three portions again. Because you have to get this under control. Okay? we got to get it um, set up so that you can flip back and forth for math facts.